Hey bears, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla June, Kale Barb on social media. So today, happy Mental Health Monday. Um, this video is slightly another personal one. <laughs> um, but it's not as down and negative as the other one was. I wouldn't say it was negative, but it was very like, I watched it like again and I was just like, oh man, I like really hope, seriously? I forgot to shut off my volume. Um, I was like, I really hope that, you know, my bears don't watch my videos and feel down. I hope that you kind of relate to everything um, in a way. But before we get this video started for Mental Health Monday, um, if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel and please follow all my social media handles. If you don't already, I am at Kale Barb for beauty, makeup, skincare, etc., etc., etc. And then I have my mental health Instagram page, which is at bear underscore self care. Um, that is everything. It could be like a mood of the day, a quote, um, advice, a, a Twitter thread, anything. Anything that comes into mind I, that's, that's mental health related, I put that on there. And then if you are interested, my makeup business page is at kaylajune.mua. Um, and that's just my freelance business that I'm trying to make go boom. Um, so yeah, um, oh, before I start, if you do like this video at the end, give it a thumbs up. So, um, this video is based on, um, how social anxiety stole my youth, basically. Um, I'm going to be talking about... A lot of things that I actually realized this past weekend, um, so a few people that I grew up with got married, um, are having babies and, you know, really like just living their life and it's so amazing to see and it got me thinking about how I've known them for so long, you know, how we used to be really close and, um, how I was as like a kid and a teenager and things I did do and struggled with, things I didn't do because of my social anxiety. And that's what I kind of really wanted to talk to because be because I didn't know or actually really reflect on what age group watches my channel. So if you watch my mental health videos and you were in middle school, um, I hope you're taking my advice as something educational and not negative. Um, I know my mental health stuff started really happening fairly young. Um, I did do my anxiety and depression video when I first started this whole mental health thing into my channel. And I know growing up, like I did dance since I was three, cheerleading since I was seven. Um, I did a few sports, like I, I tried for tennis and soccer and softball and stuff like that. And you know, I was always the kid that was too afraid to step up and either speak up or do something. Like I, I'm trying to like think of a good example. Like I know in cheerleading and in dancing, like when I was a kid, I loved to dance. I didn't care what anybody thought when I was a kid and I loved it. But I was very scared of performing on stage at first. And then eventually I was, you know, more comfortable because I loved it so much. Um, but I know as a kid, it's frightening in general to really put yourself out there because you're just getting into like the groove of things, whether it's a sport, an activity, anything like that. And it was funny because I was looking at old photos of me and like friends and like I see my friends old photos from like high school and college and like how much like how outgoing they were and how much fun they looked like they had. And in the moment in high school, I wasn't thinking like that. I was very still, <laughs> um, even worse than I am now. I was very reserved. Um, I wasn't a free spirit ever. Um, I wasn't outgoing. I didn't really have many friends. Um, a lot of people, of course, in high school, you have like a lot of cliques. Um, I kind of just like bounced around with people like I just made friends with people that I felt comfortable with. I was a cheerleader in high school 
and I actually wanted to play volleyball in high school, but I wasn't allowed to because of cheerleading. Not because cheerleading didn't allow me, because my mom didn't allow me. <laughs> I had to cheer. That's another, that's another story for another video. Um, But I loved the girls that I cheered with. I truly did. And like looking back at some photos, realizing I wasn't in a lot of those photos. And it makes me so sad because... I sat there and I wondered where was I like at cheerleading camp was I asleep when they were off like gallivanting in, in on the like the campgrounds and doing pranks and having fun and taking photos and being close and where was I like that's what, like uh, what I was reflecting on like for the last like week weekend whatever and seeing all those photos of like the seniors when I was a senior and my name isn't on something or i wasn't joined in on other things like just like group photos and stuff and it makes me wonder like where the hell was i and i know like in cheerleading it's it's very like <sighs> cheerleading is a very very great activity to join because you become so close and I was close with a lot of people, but for some reason I never felt the urge or I was too afraid to join in on things. And I don't know why. And it makes me wonder what happened to me at some point. Um, because like even in middle school, like I see group photos of the girls and I know when I was younger, I was never allowed to go out, like even hang out at the mall or the movies, anything. So that could have played a role, but I was so petrified of like people and having relationships. Relationships like friendships in high school were very difficult for me to handle, um, very difficult for me to maintain um, because I always felt like I, it was gonna fail or I always felt like I didn't, I didn't belong. Um, but even as an adult, like in college, I, made a lot of friends in college um i was more social and i wanted to like join clubs and stuff i wanted to be a part of something i remember i like my roommate was my high school friend and that was probably the most comfortable thing i ever did in college because i knew her already but like even when we would go to like college parties and stuff i was i remember like being very in the corner or sitting down i wasn't playing beer pong like i wasn't the the out i still wasn't the outgoing type and a part of me is just like is there something wrong with me like i'm a college student why am i not being a college student you know what i mean and i don't want to say like my social anxiety really stole my youth but i kind of feel that way because even at like pep rallies and homecoming weekend i was barely ever around because either i wasn't allowed because of my mother or because i was too afraid to join in on the fun because i felt like no matter what someone out of this group is going to hate me which at that moment of course not hate but like not everybody's gonna like you you know what i mean and being 27 now i know that i know if i go to a family party or a friend's party or a graduation party or whatever not everybody's gonna like me i can go to a bar and be disliked for no reason like it doesn't matter and back then i was too worried about what people thought and i think that's what really comes down to it is the fact that my social anxiety didn't necessarily steal my youth but at the same time it kind of did because it didn't really push me into doing what i wanted to do not saying I wanted to be a party animal. I'm saying like joining in the group photos with my friends. Like I never wanted to, like I was just like against like photos. I was against anything. Like when I was a kid, I was very goofy. I still, I am now. But I mean like I was really goofy and very like, like I loved silly faces. I can, like my little brother is the same way. He makes silly like weird faces all the time in photos my mom can't stand, can't stand. <laughs> and she says he gets it from me because when i was little if she'd be like kayla smile i'd be like or i'd be like like i literally could never be taken seriously when i was a kid and then at some point in my life it was my silliness was taking as was taken as being weird and i took that negatively you know what i'm trying to say um these are one of these videos when i just ramble 
kind of of what's what's all up in here um but as a as an adult now it's just like okay not everyone's gonna like you not you're not gonna you're not gonna meet everyone's standards you know it's it's just you gotta be who you want to be and now I'm still very very reserved um obviously I am more outgoing as to I have many social media platforms I am a freelance makeup artist which is literally face to face with humans <laughs> um and of course, I will admit when I f meet a new client, I am very nervous because it's just like, okay, I don't know this person. You know what I mean? But that's just general, like normal, normal anxiety. Um, as for, I still don't really like crowded places. That causes me a lot of stress. Um, I, I, I just, I'd rather be in my house and watch scary movies and keep to myself sketch do what i want to do and that makes me happy um does it's does my social anxiety still kind of steal moments of my life absolutely i think so even still to this day because there are times where i could be out doing adventurous things but at the same time just like okay do i really want to do that i don't know um, how many people are going? Um, is it like just us or, okay, we're, we're, where are we going? What time are we going? How long are we going to be there? Um, like I'm very paranoid when it comes to, one comes to like socializing sometimes. Um, you could find me on a great day and I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Let's go out. Let's go dancing. Let's have fun. Let's meet new people. And then there are other times I'm just like, no, I changed my mind. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna stay right here where I am and I'm gonna mind my own business and that's just I guess the life of someone with social anxiety and I wanted to address this um this topic because I don't know who's watching my channel exactly like I know some of you comment a lot of you don't I mean there's what over 400 of you now and 400 bears um, but at the same time, I don't know the age gap. Like, you could be in middle school, high school, and if you're watching this and you are afraid to step out of your comfort zone, don't be. This is like one of those moments where it's like, don't be like me type thing, where I don't want to ever see a bear of mine to be afraid and not be like, you know what? I am good enough. I want you to be, I want you to tell yourself, I am good enough. I should try out for that team or... You know, I should play soccer or basketball or football or softball or volleyball. I want to do that. I want to I want to go for it. I have the confidence. I'm brave enough. I'm good enough. I want to do it. That is that is my message to this because I didn't do that. I didn't. And I can't get those years back. And you know, I said when I was younger, I said younger. I said no to a lot of things that could have helped me with my social anxiety you know confronting your fears is the best thing ever it's risky but like 95 to 99 percent of the time it's well worth it because you have the ability to be like oh well at least i tried you didn't fail because you tried if you don't do anything or do anything about it or if you want to try out for the cheerleading squad this year and you don't do it what if you tried out and you made it? But what if you tried out and you didn't? It doesn't matter. That doesn't determine your worth. You know how many times I've tried out for things and I didn't make it? <laughs> I can't tell you how many dance teams and cheerleading opportunities and whatever I've tried out for and I didn't make it. I went to New York when I was like 13 years old and I had braces and they told me no, not because of how short I was, um, the women around me were beautiful, super tall women. And it wasn't that, it was because I had braces. They didn't want a girl with braces. So I got told no. I mean, does it suck? Yeah, at the moment. But now when I look back, it's just like, I wonder where my life would be if I actually went back when I didn't have braces. You know what I mean? You, you don't know where your life's going to take you, but you have to take those risks in order to find out. That's what life's about. 
and I don't want anyone who is watching this to take any of this as negative because it's not. I'm just trying to like not knock my camera over by like being like, go, 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 go do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Don't let your social anxiety determine who you are. If you want to, if you see, okay, even for dating, like if you see a boy and you're a girl or a boy or whatever and you see somebody, boy, girl, whatever, you see somebody and they're attractive, they seem funny, you like them, whatever, they have good hair, I don't know, and you want to talk to them, there's no rule <laughs> that, like, this whole stigma thing where it's, oh, well, I'm a girl, so I can't, the, bo the boy is supposed to talk to me, or vice versa, or however that is, because I know some people are like that, and I was never like that. If I saw somebody that I thought was attractive, or I wanted to speak to, or I wanted to build a friendship with, I took the shot. Because that person could be the best person you ever met in your life, or they could be really crappy, that's, that, that, that's a possibility, but you'll never know unless you try. Why do my videos take so long all the time? But nonetheless, I just want you guys to try. I don't want you guys to not do things because of fear. I want you to face your fears. I want you to be the brave bears that I know that you are. And it took many years for this brave bear to realize that. And I don't want you to be 27 or however old and look back and be like, why weren't I in those photos? Why, weren't I, why wasn't I included in those things? I don't want you to ever feel like that because when I was doing that recently, I felt like poop. <laughs> I felt like a big pile of bear doo-doo and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Um, so please, you never know what's going to happen, but you should always take the risk as long as it's not going to harm you or anybody else. Let's just put that out there. Don't do that because that's just wrong. Um, but yes, follow your heart. Do what makes you happy if it's not hurting anybody or yourself. And, you know, just don't let your social anxiety determine who you are because it's ridiculous. And I did that for too long. And it took me 27 years and the past week to realize that. But I'm going to let you go because this video is 17 minutes long. What in the heck? Um... I love you bears so much. I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bears. <laughs>